Anna in the Tropics is coming to Blackfriars Theater in Rochester. The date's September 7th through the 23rd. I'm delighted to welcome back to the program the artistic director, Danny Hoskins, along with Jay Simmons, back to the program as well. <laughs> Great to have you both here. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Uh, we've got a lot to get to. Let's dive right in. Yeah. Danny, uh, this story uh, is different. Um, uh, but tell us about it and why you chose to produce yeah. it. So, um, and in the Tropics is a Pulitzer Prize winning play by Nilo Cruz. And um, we've been working with the Rochester Latino Theater Company um, to try and find a piece that we could partner on. Um, and this is a beautiful play. We went through a number, a number of, of choices, but this is a beautiful play. It doesn't get produced a lot, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's a story about family, about tradition. Um, and, and, and our goal is to kind of diversify our storytelling as well, to reach out to, to more communities in the Rochester area. Yeah. Um, and with the help of the Rochester Latino Com uh, Theater Company, uh, we're working on doing that. Jay, what drew you to this uh, particular uh, opportunity? Uh, actually, this subject matter, um, the subject matter is very unique. It's about uh, Cuban Americans in the 1920s in, in uh, Florida uh, in a cigar factory. Um, the content within the play, the, the challenges for myself as an actor, um, really, the, the whole project really uh, spoke to me and really made me very interested in doing the, pro uh, the production. Now, help us understand, the, the title is Anna in the Tropics. Anna comes from Anna Karenina. Correct. And that is a window into what's going on, at least in terms of the, the story of, of, of this particular play. Absolutely. So, uh, my character, uh, Juan Julian, is a lector, and lectors back in that time uh, came into the fact Factories and read famous works of literature, also newspaper magazines of that time. Mm -hmm. um, most of the, of the morning time was dedicated to newspapers, magazines, but then in the afternoon would read a famous work of literature. And in this one, it focuses around Tolstoy's um, book. And so my character reads this to kind of not only educate, but also assimilate uh, Cuban Americans to the culture um, and, you know, let them know what was going on and, and they could obviously get their education from that. Now, what I'll say is this book sort of takes hold of the other characters in this story. <laughs> Absolutely. But you got to go check it out to figure out how. We're not going to let that out of the bag no. here today. <laughs> this story, though, is relevant to right now, Danny, and that's part of the appeal, I think. Yeah, I think uh, it deals with that, that pull between tradition and, and, and cultural history and identity and technology. So there's a, there's a little spin at the, the play where, where um, cigar rolling machines are introduced and this, this tradition of the lector coming in and reading to the workers as they, as they roll cigars uh, is challenged by that. Do we move forward with the future? Do we, do we lean into technology? And, and, but by doing that, do we lose our cultural identity? Do we lose a piece of who we are? Do we lose a piece of our tradition? Well, we're looking forward to see it play out. That's for sure. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Always good to see you both. It's good to see you. Uh, you got to check it out. September 7th through the 23rd at Blackfriars Theater in Rochester. Tickets this way, 454-1260 or online at blackfriars.org. If you missed any of that, we're sharing it online as well at rochesterfirst.com.